Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, our Truth Skin Health products, anything we're speaking about here today, 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order all your favorite longevity products off our website, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, Sweeties, Swero V, which forms a part of our Swero V cleanse. If you have any kind of digestive health challenges, give yourself a Swero V cleanse. Give your digestive system a break with fermented whey, bacteria, potassium, sodium, magnesium, the all-important electrolytes. They're all in the Swero V, and they're form part, which forms part of the Swero V cleanse, which forms part of the elimination diet and food diary that is so important if you're dealing with any long-term chronic health challenge. We'll be talking about that later today, actually. We talk about it every day on the Bright Side. In any case, your Swero V is available at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. That's the Bright Side Ben phone team. Ask them about joining the team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business. Call 866-735-2470 or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we've been talking about hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism and its relationship to the adrenal glands. We see in the healthcare, in the world of healthcare, we see hypothyroidism all the time. There's no such thing as a chronic disease, chronic long-term progressive disease that does not involve some degree of hypothyroidism. That's why hypothyroidism forms the jumping off point to all chronic degenerative diseases off our triangle of disease. Dr. Broda Barnes talked about this uh, in the 50, 1950s and 1960s. He, he said the thyroid was responsible, uh, hypothyroidism is responsible for all chronic degenerative diseases. And I wouldn't go so far as say it's, it's responsible, but it is associated certainly with all chronic degenerative diseases. And that, by the way, includes mental health issues like depression can be caused by hypothyroidism, changes in blood fats, blood cholesterol. In fact, elevated blood cholesterol is almost like a diagnostic tool for hypothyroidism, elevated blood cholesterol. Yet, when you go into the doctor for elevated blood cholesterol uh, and, they, and they find elevated blood cholesterol, do you think you're going to get, uh, somebody's going to think about checking your thyroid? No, not unless you have uh, some other symptoms. They're going to just put you on a statin drug. 
again, this underscores this, the, the whole failure of the medical model for dealing with hypothyroidism, as well as chronic degenerative diseases, is just basically not understanding biochemistry, not understanding the chemistry of the body. There's two kinds of chemistry. Chemistries. There's, there's lots of kind of chemistry. There's lots of chemistries. There's physical chemistry. There's inorganic chemistry. There's organic chemistry. There's my favorite type of chemistry, which is biochemistry. When I first when I first went to pharmacy school and they started talking about biochemistry, I took my first biochemistry class. I was just completely blown away by the kind of the kind of action, shape shifting, morphing from one chemical to another that really is the uh, the hallmark of life. It really is life, and it, and what makes us human beings is the zillions and zillions. And really, just I don't even. There's no number you can come up with to describe the number, the amount of chemistry that's going on in the body. The body's constantly. Sh the chemicals in the body are constantly morphing and shape shifting, and how this happens is just beyond comprehension. But if we're sick, there's something wrong in the biochemistry. When you go to the doctor, he's checking your clinical chemistry. That's a completely different kind of chemistry. Clinical chemistry is the kind of chemistry of numbers. It's diagnostics. It's, it's your test scores. It's your cholesterol levels and your TSH levels and your reverse T, uh, T3 levels and your bone mineral density and your, your insulin and your hemoglobin A1C. And they use these markers to determine whether you're healthy or not because they don't know biochemistry. And this allows them to do the stupidest things when it comes to healing, including drugging you to get better or drugging you just in case, or electrocuting your heart. The fact that they're not looking at the biochemistry of the body, they're looking at the numbers, justifies whatever they do, because it's lowering your cholesterol. Yeah, the statin drug's poison, but it's lowering your cholesterol. Yeah, your anti-diabetes drug is poison, but it's lowering your blood sugar, or lowering your insulin, whatever. The point is, is that because they don't understand the biochemical mechanisms behind the health challenges, they feel just, and they're focusing on the clinical chemistry, they feel justified in all their crazy procedures and nobody gets better, and that's the bottom line. We gotta focus on biochemistry. And that includes functional medicine, which I have a beef with, functional doctors. They, they like to pride themselves on the fact that we only drug people if the test scores say we should. Well, uh, what happened to common sense and understanding how the body works and putting the whole thing together, which is what we do every day on the bright side? It's not, this isn't rocket science, folks. Well, this triangle of disease is not rocket science. If you understand biochemistry, it just makes perfect sense. The idea that the thyroid is the jumping off point to all chronic degenerative diseases makes perfect sense if you understand biochemistry because the thyroid controls everything. And you don't need a thyroid test to tell you that. Hypothyroidism is one of the most common of all chronic disease diagnoses, and nobody can do anything about it. Doctors, that is, I should say. Nobody in the medical model can do anything about it. Every year, thyroid medication, which is basically thyroid hormone, T3, T4, or maybe if you're lucky enough, you'll get ground up pig thyroid, which is armor thyroid. And every year, thyroid medication is in the top 10 of all drugs dispensed. Sometimes it's in the top five, sometimes it's in the top two. I, th I think there have been even years when hype Synthroid was the number one best-selling drug in America. Certainly, it's been in the top two, I know that. That means, that means we got a serious problem here. And the interesting thing about the whole thing is hypothyroidism is not a disease. It's not a sickness. It's not a sickness that you need to go to the doctor for. It's a biochemical consequence. It's a biochemical result of a body that's just not operating as it should be operating. It's not a sickness. It's just the end result of a body that's somehow not doing what it should be doing based on what we're doing. The body is responding to our lifestyle how we're living our lives. Hypothyroidism is a direct reflection of how we live our lives, from everything from our stress levels to the water we drink, to the air we breathe, to the supplements we take. That's what hypothyroidism is about. Unless you have perhaps cancer of the thyroid. And, and then, you know, even then, cancer doesn't just appear. But I'm talking about your basic hypothyroidism, which is Hashimoto's, they call it, which is an autoimmune disease or uh, hypo, uh, hypothyroidism that d doesn't have its cause, apparent, an, an apparent cause. It's all just the result of a body not doing its business based on how we live our lives. Around 11 million American adults and children have 
so-called hypothyroidism. Mostly, uh, most common, by the way, in older women, interestingly. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Suspend. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Also, brightsideben.com. Have search engines up on both websites, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. And you can also purchase longevity products off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. Also, want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Our retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, all made with lots of vitamin C as well as 5% retinol. Don't be messing around with that retinol, though, because that is kick butt stuff. Retinol is a powerful, powerful ingredient. That's why you, you don't see retinol in 5% concentrations anywhere, but I didn't want to play around, you know? I wanted you guys to have the most powerful dose of retinol that you could get. And that's what our retinol 5% gel is. You want to use it once every 10 days or so. Some people can use it every seven days. Some people are using it every three or four days. But start off once every 10 days or so. Let your skin get used to it a little bit. If your skin is really weak and many people have weak skin, you may want to even take two weeks off before your first, or, or two weeks between your first a couple of doses. In any case, you will know that you're using a product, and you should know that you're using a product when you put something on your skin. Truth Treatments are all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Please check them out. Retinol 5% gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream. Okay. So we're talking about the thyroid, hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is not itself a disease. It's the consequence of bad living, of toxicity. It can also be, uh, it can also be associated with estrogen levels. Most hypothyroid patients are women, and it's especially problematic for older women. By older, I mean over the age of 65. Somewhere, somewhere around 10% of women over the age of 65 are hypothyroid, diagnosed hypothyroid. Keep in mind, you can be hypothyroid without being a diagnosed hypothyroid. You have to go by your symptoms. Symptoms like dry skin, symptoms like cold extremities, symptoms like problems with your hair and with your nails, symptoms like fatigue, symptoms like elevated blood fats, Symptoms perhaps like gallbladder issues because of elevated blood fats and elevated cholesterol. These, are all, these all can be associated with hypothyroidism, frequent colds, uh, poor sex drive, and libido. These are, can all be linked to uh, uh, hypothyroidism, which itself can be linked to adrenal fatigue. And all of this can be associated with problems with estrogen, which is why so many women are, are, are uh, uh, victims of hypothyroidism. I hate to say victims because it's, like I say, it's stuff that we're doing in our lives. Here's the deal with estrogen. Whenever you have an estrogen problem, and we've said this before, I think I just said it a couple days ago, whenever you have an estrogen problem, you don't have an estrogen problem. You have an estrogen breakdown problem, an estrogen elimination problem. And that means digestion and the liver. So if you're dealing with hypothyroidism and it's secondary to menopause, for, let's say, or if you have PCOS, which can also be linked to hypothyroidism, if you have PCOS or you have cysts or ovary issues or any kind of reproductive health issues and you're hypothyroid, work on your digestion, your intestine and your liver specifically. That means probiotics, the nightly essence, that means fermented foods, eliminating problem foods, using your uh, uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine for the liver, taking extra vitamin E for the liver, alpha lipoic acid for the liver, and acetylcysteine for the liver, ultimate selenium for the liver, ultimate EFAs for the liver, staying off sugar for the liver. This is how you want to focus on things. And you hear, we're just repeating the same thing. So these are all the same basic strategies we all have to do. 
Progesterone, by the way, helps balance out excess estrogen. Progesterone can be awesome for a woman who's dealing with uh, hypothyroidism. Pregnenolone, if you don't want to go get progesterone, use pregnenolone, P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E. You may want to consider DHEA. So a poorly functioning thyroid is not itself pathological. Hypothyroidism is a response. And that means you cannot just work on your hypothyroidism by working on the thyroid directly or medically. There's absolutely nothing you can do or a doctor can do to treat a hypothyroid state. The best they can do, and this is what they do, they give you the hormone, but that doesn't affect the thyroid. In fact, it may negatively affect the thyroid because it'll act, the, thyroid, the body will say, well, we got, looks like we got plenty of thyroid hormone in the blood, and it will downregulate production even more, which is why people keep having to adjust their doses on Synthroid, right? which is why it's notoriously ineffective. When you go to the doctor and get your Cytomel, your Synthroid, your Levothyroxine, your Armour Thyroid, you're doing nothing for the thyroid. All you're doing is replacing a hormone, supposedly replacing, because it's impossible to replace a hormone. This is the great flaw in hormone replacement therapy. It's impossible to replace a hormone because they're constantly fluctuating in response to the environment. Hormones are our link to the environment. It's the, bio, it's the bridge between the biochemistry and the environment. That is so important, you guys. Hormones are the way the outside world gets turned into the inside world. I used to do a talk on hormones, and I would always ask people, say, what are, what are hormones? That would be the first question I'd ask. So, well, so what's a hormone? And people would raise their hand. they say, it's, it, it's a chemical. And, oh, it's a molecule. Oh, it's something that we have too little of when we get older. They have all kinds of things to describe what hormones are, and none of it was accurate. And so I would say, okay, here's what a hormone is. It's magic. A hormone is where the invisible world of thoughts and feelings gets turned into the visible world of chemistry, of biology. It's where thoughts and feelings, as well as the outside environment, get turned into chemistry. They're the bridge between the two. And so they're fluctuating constantly based on our thoughts and based on our feelings and based on our environment. And by the way, environment includes food, the food we eat. In fact, the food we eat probably changes our hormones more than anything else we do. Thinking and feeling and also just our, what we see and feel in our environment, also that has a lot to do with it too. But probably food is the most important bridge between, uh, or activator, I should say, of hormones or deactivator of hormones, effector of hormones. In any case... This is the fla fallacy of hormone therapy, and it's why thyroid hormone therapy doesn't really work. They're not treating the thyroid. They're not addressing the cause of the hypothyroidism. They're just attempting to replace the hormone, which never works, rarely works. So the thyroid, the reason you're not going to get any help for your thyroid is because the thyroid's responding to something in the body. And most of the time, it's going to be responsive, at least to some degree, by the adrenal glands, the adrenals. The symptoms of hypothyroidism are like almost exactly the same as the symptoms of adrenal fatigue. So-called adrenal fatigue may be just hypothyroidism. If you got your immune system involved, then you got food, then you got to deal with food and digestion, which you always should anyway, because guess what? Thyroid hormone is activated by the digestive system. So you've got two kinds of thyroid hormone. You've got inactive thyroid hormone, and you've got active thyroid hormone. This is another serious issue when it comes to how we treat uh, hypothyroidism. Synthroid, levothyroxine, is the weak stuff. It's the inactive form of thyroid hormone, so-called T4. That's a whole other issue. We'll talk about that as we continue our discussion on hypothyroidism and the adrenal glands and electrolytes and the heart and uh, all the other things we've been talking about here for the last couple of months. All right, anyway, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a commercial break and come back with your phone calls right after this. Okay, we are back. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you tried to call in, in the past and gotten a busy signal, now's the time to call in, and we'll get your calls here in just a moment if you're on hold. From the Society for Endocrinology, 
This is research from the uh, Institute of Inflammation and Aging in Birmingham. Vitamin D may be a simple treatment to enhance burn healing. Patients with sever, uh, severe burns who have higher levels of vitamin D recover more successfully than those with lower levels, according to a study presented at the Society for Endocrinology Annual Conference in Harrogate. I think that's in England. The study is the first to investigate the role of vitamin D in recovery from burn injury and suggests that vitamin D supplementation may be a simple and cost-effective treatment to enhance burn healing. Why? This is because vitamin D is a building substance. It's an adaptive substance. It's a growth substance. It is one of the most important, uh, I don't even want to say vitamins because it's much more than a vitamin. It's a, it's a hormone. I was saying earlier, I was saying in the last segment how hormones are uh, chemicals that are produced in response to the environment. Vitamin D is a hormone. It's produced by the body in response to the environment. It's not actually produced in response to the environment as much as it's activated in response to the environment. Like thyroid hormone has to be activated, vitamin D has to be activated. Vitamin D is activated like thyroid hormone, at least partially, in the intestine. So it requires a healthy digestive system in order to activate vitamin D into its active form. It's so powerful that the vitamin, like thyroid hormone, vitamin D is so powerful that the body has to activate it when, it's, when it needs it. If it, was, if it didn't have an activation mechanism, if it was always active, we'd be in big trouble because it's such a powerful building substance. So the body has these fail-safe mechanisms for preventing it from being overactive. Thyroid hormone is the same way. It's so powerful that it has to be activated. It's activated in the gut. When we're healthy, that is. Now, vitamin D also has some topical benefits. We know vitamin D works to help improve psoriasis. It's actually a prescription drug for treating psoriasis. Why would that be? Why would vitamin D treat psoriasis? Because vitamin D makes things healthy again. It makes cells healthy again. It calms down the immune system, which is what uh, psoriasis is a hyper a sign of a hyperactive immune system. The best vitamin D is not supplements, though. The vet, best vitamin D is from the sun, as we've said so many times in this program. The supplemental vitamin D is the, probably the poorest way to get vitamin D. Food is the, after the sun, food is the best way, and then supplemental vitamin D. But, but the sun is by far the best way to get your vitamin D. According to Professor, uh, Professor Janet Lord at the Institute of Inflammation and Aging in Birmingham, major burn injury severely reduces vitamin D levels. It's because the body is using vitamin D to cope with the trauma. It's a coping chemical. Oh, guess what? Vitamin D is cholesterol. Yes, it is a form of cholesterol, a type of cholesterol. Cholesterol itself is a coping substance. And we want to have a doctor tell you, we want to follow a doctor's advice to take a drug to suppress this coping, the, the quintessential coping molecule in the body. Life is about coping, right? Look at all the ways we have to cope. And your doctor wants to suppress your coping chemical? That's the stupidity of clinical chemistry, right there in a nutshell. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'll read one more story and then we'll get to your phone calls. I think this is really interesting and important. Almost half of food allergies in adults appear in adulthood. This is from the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Almost half of adult allergies in adults appear in adulthood. Most of the time we think about kids when it comes to food allergies. But you can have, you can be eating, uh, drinking your dairy or eating your, your gluten or whatever it is you're eating, mer be, go merrily along, and then all of a sudden you're 30, 30 or 40 years old and all of a sudden you have a problem with it. You say, well, I used to be, eat, I used to eat, be able to eat peanuts all the time. Now I break out. Now I feel tired. Now I get rashes. Same with eggs. Anything that's allergenic can, uh, can cause a food allergy later in life. So just because you were fine for your first 30 years of your life, or 35 or 40 years, in adulthood, you can all of a sudden become allergic to specific foods. You've got to go by your symptoms. You don't need an allergy test either. That's another scamola allergy test. You actually take, the blood out of, take your blood out of your body take your blood out of your body and go over and put it in a dish, a Petri dish, and then put some food in the Petri dish and see what happens to the blood. And we remain blissfully innocent 
in our bodies, and we need a doctor or some kind of healthcare professional to tell us what's in how how our body is based on what's in the dish. That's how silly this whole cl- uh, this whole medical model is. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. You're listening to the bright side. Let's go to the phones. Talk to uh, Tony in California. Good morning, Tony. Welcome to the bright side. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've gotten so young at 82 that I'm just starting to, I'm uh, applying for a job. Are you Tony in Santa Cruz? Are you my yes, friend Tony? I'm, Tony, yes, where you been, and, and buddy? You know, but, okay, I want to get to, I want to do this quickly. Yeah. I, um, I'm applying for a job, and uh, urinating frequently has not been a problem when you're retired because you just take it as it comes. And I think that I'd like to cut down on my frequency of urination. Is there anything I can do other than... Uh, well, urination's my, a, uh, urination's a good thing. You want to be very happy you're, that you're urinating. You yeah, know what I'm saying, Tony? I, I do like I, Yes, I do. That's but not I, a bad thing. That you can, can I take some of those pills that the people take to restrict the urine flow? During no, the you don't want to mess around with your urine flow, Tony. Not a good okay. idea. Very bad idea. Okay. You know, every time we go to the bathroom, Tony, and everybody listening, every time we urinate or have a bowel movement, we should be praising God. Okay? And taking trace minerals. or taking trace minerals. <laughs> no, listen to my point. The excretory sure. process is very underappreciated. The elimination process is very okay. underappreciated, unless, God forbid, you can't do it. Okay? So every right. time we have a bowel movement, every time you urinate, that is a miracle that we should be very, very grateful for. A, a miracle of biology that occurs. Uh, no, you problem. Know, no problem. Good for you. <laughs> Keep it going. Drink more water. Make sure you do your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's the problem when you go to the when you're drinking lots of water and you go to the bathroom a lot. You lose your electrolytes, which we've been one talking more, about. You more, lose I your. I will. I know that. Yes. Yes. So you, and also you lose your B vitamins and also you lose your your vitamin C. So it's very important. The more water you drink. Drink, the more you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, if you're drinking bottled water, ideally just put a little Beyond Tangy Tangerine in your bottled water. You won't have to worry about it. But if you're just drinking bottled water, make sure you're using some BTT once or twice or three times a day at least so you're replacing those electrolytes and the B vitamins and the vitamin C, especially, especially first thing in the morning because we, you know, if you've gone to the bathroom a couple times in the middle of the night, that's eight hours where you have not replaced the electrolytes and there's a very good chance you're going to wake up in the morning electrolyte and B vitamin and vitamin C deficient. And in my humble opinion, that may be one reason why we wake up groggy in the morning is because we're deficient in these energizing nutrients. And by, I should tell everybody about you, Tony, let me brag on you a little bit. Let me brag on you just a minute here, Tony. Tony, Tony is an amazing human being. I've known him for probably 15 years or so, 10 or 15 years. And uh, Tony uh, is 82 years old and looks unbelievable. Big guy, six foot two or three, probably Tony, right? Maybe maybe 200 pounds oh, no, six, or so. Six, six. Six one, six one, one one. Six one, okay. Big guy, strong, vital guy. Eighty two years old. That's what's possible. That's what. That's what the human body is capable of. Tony, thanks for your call, buddy. Have a great day, man. I hope I helped you out. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the Bright Side. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You'll also find the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team as well if you're if you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneurially minded, you want to start a business, but you don't want to deal with the, with the hardware, with the storefront, with all the infrastructure that goes into building a business, and a, a, a lot of infrastructure goes into building a business. I've built several in my day, and uh, it's a lot of work. Longevity makes it real easy for you. It's, it's home business in a box. For one time, $25 fee, you can start the ball rolling. Get your products at the wholesale price. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. If you really want to go all out, you buy your have to buy some uh, 
Uh, yeah, some basic uh, inventory. I think it's less than $500 worth of inventory if you really want to go all out and start making some significant money. And some folks are making significant money, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. It's not really selling because once people try it, they buy it is basically how it works. It couldn't be any easier, but the best part of it is you're really helping people. You're making a difference. I'm not just telling you that. I've been just seeing this for 19 years. People losing weight and people getting off their meds and people feeling better and people having more energy, people's diseases re uh, uh, reversing, people getting off their drugs. I mean, there's so many different ways you benefit from a good, solid, well-rounded nutritional supplement program. And that's the key, so uh, well-rounded. You need a system. You can't just throw supplements at the wall and see what sticks. You're not going to get the you're not going to get the good benefits out of nutritional supplementation unless you have a strategy, unless you have a system in place. And that's that's really what longevity is all about. It gets you gives you a system for people who aren't experts in nutrition. It's very easy. To, the stuff gets drop ship, shipped to your door every month automatically. No must, no fuss. You know you got a great company. You got people like myself and Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glidden and Dr. Conway and lots of other people behind the product themselves who can guide you through everything. It's just an amazing opportunity if you want to start a business, and it's amazing supplements if you want to just get on a supplement program. Anyway, you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Our number, 844-236-6010. Let's go to my friend Carl the Truth Raider in Oregon. Good morning, Carl the Truth Raider. Good morning, Benjamin, the health, health uh, professional and coach, and I guess you would call it health and nutrition life coach. Who, you're talking about me? <laughs> yeah, you. You're the man. I like, I like that. I like that. Life, but it, it is, it's more than just nutrition, Carl, the truth raider. If we're interested in health, really? health is everything. I call it the four dimensions of health, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. And I have, you know what, Carl? I, always, I have, If somebody is going on a nutritional supplement, program and they get better and then all of a sudden they plateau you know they just stay the same mm -hmm. they stay the same they don't improve you can rest right. assured they haven't addressed the emotional the mental and the spiritual aspects that are associated with health or the lack thereof that's how you can tell you got more work to do on those levels is if you're doing yeah. all the supplements and the food diary and eliminating problem foods and you still have a problem there's still some emotional mental or spiritual baggage that needs to, or, or, or I don't say baggage but uh, components that need to be addressed and we don't talk about that anywhere near enough it's almost like it's taboo to really talk about that on the health and nutrition program but i'm sorry you can't be healthy unless you're multi-dimensionally healthy spiritually praise god on some level i'm not proselytizing it's non-denominational be attached spiritually on some level when you're not attached spiritually you go into fight or flight mode fight or flight mode fear mode the world is not a safe place this cortisol kicks in your immune system is suppressed inflammation increases etc uh, mental and emotional do the same things we talked about the link between hormones and our mental and emotional nature. You th have a crappy thought or crappy feelings. You get crappy hormones. You get a crappy body. So if you're not getting better and you've done everything, you think you've done everything, you got to address these other dimensions of health. Sorry to ramble on there, Carl, the truth raider. How can I help you, my friend? Oh, that's awesome. I, that's that's what, what it is right there. The left-right paradigm, either people are more going toward discovering health and nutritional options, or they're going the other way into gluttony, into eating crappy food, as you call yes. it, have a crappy diet. So yeah. that's what's going on with the group that I've gone to. So I, I haven't gone to the group much anymore, because all they talk about in the emails is that, you know, they have some, you know, I have pizza and beer and just, you know, sit around, a lot of them are gaining Which weight. group are you talking about here? Well, it was, it was supposed to be a truth group, and health and nutrition is a, is a humongous part of truth, but it's the group that I, that I attended here in town. Okay, so they talked about like the it's a, it's products. A group you, it's a group that you attended. Oh, okay. So, so I think it was wasn't it Longevity? What was their part? Yeah. Something. Okay. Well, you're you're representing health and nutrition on a truth level, but you were covertly trying to introduce <laughs> longevity into their lives to improve their their consciousness, their health and well being. Covertly, in did you say? Covering and talking about the truth. Well, you couldn't do it openly. It was the setting was the the rules were was to talk about something in relation to the conspiracy to destroy our health out there, and you were there to correct and and make it simplistic to what health and nutrition was and to bring that message to that group. Do you, you ever hear this? Purpose was. Do you ever hear this thing called the Georgia Guidestones? 
Yes, absolutely. So, right. So the part That's of the Georgia, the, they, they just, these Georgia. mysterious tablets that yeah. just showed up, right? So uh, in Georgia somewhere, for, the, for you guys who don't know what I'm referring to, and I don't remember where it was in Georgia, but some these two huge stone tablets just appeared in some public park somewhere in Georgia. And uh, and on the these two tablets are like the agenda for 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 humanity from some kind of control uh, some kind of control uh, operation to 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 modify humanity and and human demographics and human numbers and part of the gold Georgia guidestone is that there's too many people on the world and we got to get rid of people and there's going to be wars and there's going to be ways to get rid of people well population control is already occurring it seems like and it occurs with fluoride it occurs with chlorine in the water. It occurs with antibiotics and drugs. How do we know that's not some kind of population control deal? It could very well be. I mean, it, it'd be really clever to do it that way, to use fluoride for population control because everybody drinks it, or to use statin drugs for population control because everybody takes them. But you know what? We can, we, we can, may not be able to avoid these things entirely because we've got to breathe the air still, and the air is pretty darn toxic. But just knowing about things, we can take control over our lives, and we don't have to be one of the numbers that is going to be population controlled. We can use nutritional supplements. We can think good thoughts. We can eliminate rage and anger and jealousy and fear. We can uh, become spiritually connected. We can drive by McDonald's instead of driving through McDonald's. We don't have to eat Dunkin' Donuts. We don't have to participate in the empire of food. We can disengage from the machine. The machine doesn't care about us. But we can disengage from the machine, and that's really what it's going to take. We can't participate in the culture and participate the way everybody participates in the culture if we're not going to just, if we expect to not be affected by the machinations, and if it's a conspiracy, the conspiracy that's associated with things like population control, things like um, reducing the number of people on the earth so that, uh, I guess, so that less people can have more. Because you know what? At the end of the day, there's plenty for everybody. You know, Carl, the truth raider, there's no shortage in energy. Planet Earth is an energy ball. Every time it's, it's got an iron core in the, right in the center of it. It's a magnet. There's so much electromagnetic energy per tiny millimeter of space that we could, we could run the planet. We could probably run the universe, the solar system, on the amount of energy that's circulating around the Earth. There's plenty of energy. There's plenty for everybody. There's no shortages, and it, it's not like we got too many people if we understood how to allocate our resources appropriately, Word in up. my humble opinion. I, I, don't, I don't like getting too political there, Carl, yeah. the truth raider, but oh, that's no my worries. take. Word up. I mean, that's truth. But I have something to complain a little bit about. But yes? About our emergency service workers. Who, where's I was, this? I was at the grocery store, and they're all really nice, young and fit young men. But I was checking what they were, what their shopping list was. Be, you know what they're going to have at the station house. I said, "What you guys going to have for lunch?" Oh, we were going to have chili dogs. <laughs> chili dogs at the firehouse. Chili wasn't dogs, it? a bunch of warm uh, chili, and a couple, three packages of. of uh, the pork hot dogs. Why don't you do your good deed and bring them some beyond? T- do a do yeah. a good deed and bring them some beyond tangy tangerine. Or get me their address and I'll send them. Going, going to a call before that, yeah, you know, having all that in your stomach, then you got to go to emergency. That's life, right. Yeah. Life yeah, yeah, yeah. and death situation. That's, that's my that's point. my little bit of a, a little bit of a complaint there about that. Well, thank you, Carl. That's the last word because we're just out of time. Appreciate it. Have a good day, man. Good to talk to you, Carl, the Truth Raider. All right. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side, friends. Please check out my websites: brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, critical. Healthnews.com. You can also purchase Yongevity products off our website, and please check out our website for truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.